Welcome to SS Tutorial. Today I came here with one more new video. This video is going to be on a very important topic. So please don't skip and keep watching. Today in this video we are going to know about Drumlin. So let's begin. Most mysterious and remarkable depositional landform of glacier is Drumlin. Now question is why Drumlin is mysterious? The answer is formation of Drumlin or how a Drumlin forms it is unknown and controversial even today. So let's know about Drumlin. Drumlins are nothing but elongated and oval shaped hills made by combination of bedrock, till and sorted sediments. Developed at the base of moving glacier and aligned in the direction of ice flow. Drumlins are looked like inverted boat or inverted spoon. Here we have to remember that there is no single composition typical of a drumlin. Some drumlins have a core of hard rock or more resistant sediments, but some drumlins have no core. Drumlins may define size and shapes. They may be symmetrical, parabolic forms and transverse asymmetrical. A common measure of their shape is the elongation ratio, which we can measure with maximum drumlin length divided by maximum drumlin width. Typical elongation ratios are 2 is to 1 to 7 is to 1. Here we have to remember that more elongated drumlins are indicated at lower velocity and a short elongated drumlins are indicated at higher velocity of glacier. Generally they are elongated and oval shaped hills with a long axis. This long axis of drumlin indicates the direction in which the glacier was moving. Drumlins may be 250 meter to 1000 meter long, 120 meter to 300 meter wide and 30 meter to 60 meter in height. The drumlin would have been deposited when the glacier became overloaded with sediments, though glaciologists still disagree with this theory. There are two theories of drumlin formation. They are deformational theory and fluvial theory. But there is no such theory of drumlin formation which is globally accepted. Drumlins are commonly found in clustering number in the thousand. When drumlins forms in clusters then they are called as drumlin swamps. And they look like a basket of egg. That is why drumlin swamps is known as basket of egg topography. Glacier site or upstream site of a drumlin is known as toss end which is always blunt, high and steep. And downstream side of a drumlin is known as lee end, which is always low and gentle. Large number of drumlins are found in New York, Canada and Ireland. That's all for today. Hope you like this video. If you like this video then please press the like button and share with your friends. To get more new video please subscribe my channel. Thanks for watching.